Sowieso zes. Ik zie nog wat meer. Dat is wel zo te zien. En nog meer. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Het zou helemaal geen tien lijken als ze zo dicht bij elkaar zijn. Er zijn inderdaad een paar donkere. Die is ook goed dik, hè? Deze hier. Proud man. Blue Fantastic little ten pieces. All are grey, some are darker grey like this one. Some are lighter grey, they shine very nicely. Two looking good. So some are darker, some are lighter. The darker will perhaps become uh, black beaver of uh, black weenus. Whereas the other ones will become lighter. And this one is a little bit pinkish, I see now. So perhaps we'll get a white head. Funny. First time I see it, it is a little bit pinkish. And there's the mother. So this dwarf rabbit, dwarf rex, mini rex named uh, Thelma is displaying nesting behavior. As you can see, straw and uh, paper carton in the mouth to make the nest how she likes it to be so if you see something like this is happening oftentimes within one day or two days she will have uh, small kids so small rabbits so please take this into consideration it's a very good sign that there is something uh, coming so what she does she takes all the material that she thinks it is uh, very good and place it at a place where she thinks there's the best possibility to make a yeah make a nest for the newborn uh, or new to be born rabbits. Here's Blue Vienna with a uh, second day of being born. Covered even more in the uh, dense fur. Mother is taking good care of them. 
it appeared to be 12 instead of 10 so even more and they uh, grow very well if you don't see wrinkles you get enough uh, fluids into the system which is great so day two mother takes excellent care so much dense coat drops make them feel now eating it's also very relaxed around me so so much dense coat uh, throughout the day you can even feel the heat coming off there but they are all very nice warm and also you don't see the wrinkles and they shine beautifully which is a good sign I'm not going to expose all the others, it must be around 12 sitting in there, but let them enjoy the heat. So day three, you hear the Genia pigs on the background. You see the dark and the very light, more silky types very clearly. Doing great. Just born. So the pink ones with the dots are harlequins. I see the vier. Minstens mm -hmm. vier. Kijk, 1, 2, 3, 4. Leuk, ik zal deze even erbij leggen. Kijk, it's going the wrong way. Kom maar hier, kom hier, Ja? Vier. Goed gedaan hoor. Ik moet toch gewoon weer een stukje kleiner dan die andere. Die andere is zo groot voor een keer. This is day 2 for this little rabbit here. It is a mini Rex. There must be four of them. They are Dalmatine crossed with a blue otter. That's her mom. That's a Dalmatine. So those pink ones with the dots will turn out a little bit like their mother. And the grey ones will turn out more like their father. Very nice. Hey, what's it down there? And these are uh, blue wiener. Blue Vienna. Um, yeah, they are now on their fourth day, so a lot bigger as you can see. All grey, dark grey, less dark grey, but they are all grey. They are wiggling and looking very nice. So a lot, a lot of a velvety touch, so to say. Yeah. rabbits like that and now two days old and these are blue vienna rabbits now four days old like this completely different sizes coming up and also the ears are slowly popping loose so these mini rags rabbits yeah. two days old now so you see there are two tomatine so they will become white as the mother with the dark markings and also two darker ones i think they will be like their father or perhaps even darker the father was a blue otter also mini rags yeah. Stroking the mother who comes for a little bit of a pet. It's hard to see, but there are two dark as well. So you see one leg, and there's the other, and they're sitting on top of each other. 
I still feel the heat coming from them. And then you see quite well. Hey. Quite well. The light ones and the other ones are like laying on the bottom more. And this woolly bits are coming from the coat of the mother, so now I need to cover them a little bit more. To have them as warm as possible. You see draws those hairs out to make a, yeah, a warm environment, a woody environment. I will drop some from the top so you can see. <laughs> have a great day. So day three at the uh, mini Rex litter. She moved the litter from here to there. Which is quite unusual because dogs and cats they yeah, they just catch their uh, kittens or uh, pups and place them somewhere else, but rabbits normally don't. But they appear moved, so I don't know how this happens. Perhaps by own force, or I think they are moved by um, their mother. Very interesting. So if you look at the blue Vienna litter, it is now day five for them. There's the mother eating. And there's the litter, looking quite beautifully. The one you see here appears to have a slightly different color. My wife uh, found out that he had a slightly different color at first. <laughs> They're nice, huh? Hope you enjoy. I want to show you something. This is something that you get with uh, dwarf rabbits. This little black one guy is a peanut. So smaller. Black guy will go a lot smaller on the head of you see. Normally peanuts don't survive. So what they get, they get a double dwarf gene and they therefore become very small. I don't know for sure if it's a peanut, could also be just a little bit smaller a rabbit, but that's what I think. So if you combine dwarf herbs with dwarf herbs, you always have a chance of 25%, so 1 in 4, and this is a little of 4, it becomes a peanut. Because they are both dwarf gene carrier, and half will be yeah, like their parents, the other half will, quarter quarter won't be have a dwarf in them, and then you have one quarter that has double dwarf, so oftentimes can become a peanut. They're a lively bunch, eh? So these little uh, blue Viennas are now six days old. Very active, as you can see. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the mother. So I put a huge lamp because that little uh, black eye is not moving that fantastic. So it appears, like the other one, the other black one, which was very small, peanut. Peanuts normally don't live, but as you can see, the others, the Dalmatinus, so that one in the um, bottom right corner, and that one in the bottom now top left uh, corner, are a lot more active. So it could very well be that also this one is not going to make it. What the mother does is she's pulling fur, as you can see, to make it warmer. That's a good thing. She's pulling fur. But uh, we'll try to manage with this heat uh, lamp. It feels colder. I found them this uh, night. I went out at 4 o'clock. And I found them outside uh, the nesting uh, box. And it's very cold. And he still has not warmed up that much. Even with the heat uh, lamp. So that's... Uh, gives not uh, that much uh, 
you know, you say that as much you know, pulling for doesn't give as much uh, positivity in my opinion. Too bad. The day six of this little wood tent. This one appears to be in a good wild type color. All the others are grey or even black. So dark uh, black weenus, grey weenus or blue weenus. This appears to be in a guti, a wild type. The box also led to uh, yeah. little kids getting stuck. So I hope this is better now. And she's uh, uh, remaking the litter. As you can see, so they are now day seven. Of course, then she's going to stand the top of them. That's not nice to them. See, that's on the ceiling because she was hurt. Nice mother. That you get with a very big mother. Huh? Have a great day. Day seven. Bluewinners are, are quite mobile, as you can see, almost walking. The wild color agouti is uh, growing very strong. Also, because of the different color, you will put your eye on that quite easily, as you can see. The rabbit is uh, making everything different again. <laughs> Shredding the papers. We're liking. As you can see, they are quite a uh, mobile little bugger. Have a great day. So Blue Vienna Rabbit, day 8. You see that this. Uh, Wild color, a booty one is the biggest of them all. So apparently, it just clicked, and the natural genes uh, are just favored above the others. All the black ones are also smaller than the, the gray ones. So, quite interesting. There you see a black one on the left, which is a lot smaller than the grays. But the wild colored one is the biggest of them all. So nice to see. Have a great day. So it's day 8 of the Blue Viennas and there you see the difference also in colors. So the black ones appear to be smaller. And this one is quite uh, chunky still. Especially this. And this is the biggest one. The wild Aguti color. And the grays are in between in size. So. I wonder if the Aguti will appear really Aguti or will become Isabella more. So still grey based, but we will see. Out. The little rabbit's drinking with the mother. This little guy goes the wrong way. There you go. Nice to see, eh? Oftentimes you don't see that because they only give milk for a few moments a day. But uh, now you can see I really drink. So feast your eyes on that. So the milk of rabbits is extremely energy dense. 
a lot of proteins are in there so therefore they don't need to feed them uh, a lot or sometimes only a few minutes a day that's what you yeah but now uh, looking into and witnessing a beautiful sight eh? I also hope that this little black one is getting what it needs. Because if they don't drink, they are not going to make it, of course. It's very important that they drink. Hope they do. Well, enjoy your day. So, Blue Vienna kids. Nine days old, one black, one grey, one wild, and two grey there, and here's the mother. The bunny is dreaming, he is also becoming bigger. This is a wild colored, a goodie, one black, and the rest is grey, but this little guy, it's a little bit of blonde as well, a little bit like uh, a Gucci, which can also be Isabella in color, but we will see when they mature a little bit more. And the mother also has a little bit of Isabella, so those more sandish colorations as well. One small peak, so cute. Nice, those colors, huh? Day 9 of the Blue uh, Vienna Bunnies. I will just let you enjoy a little bit of footage. Now I'm going to feed the other rabbits. And you can enjoy these cozy little old guys. Chilling. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. It's today, day 12 of this uh, Blue Vienna rabbit. Just after New, day, New Year's Eve. Looking fantastic. How to give you a little bit more light. You see the colors better. Black. Gray, but also uh, uh, Isabella or something else. A little bit like Wild Factor. And, uh, have a great day. So today it's day 13, and we'll give you some close ups of these little guys. Because the eyes are also opening. It's a little black. Muffin still sleeping. Oh. This is a special one. Very nice blonde coloration, also the grey tummy. Also, eyes are opening. <laughs> this one has some Isabella, also nice eyes. Yay! So, the lighter coloration to the grey, as you can see. 
This one has even, even a little bit more Isabella, so the light coloration. Also the white belly, as you can see. Also eyes are opening. Mm. And this one is completely grey. Hey. There you are. Also dark grey. Uh, tell me. So interesting, huh? Let's see the mother. This is grayish tummy as well. So a little bit different. So the little rabbit are today 14 days old, so two weeks. Enjoy, I'm going to feed the dogs now. Really nice. Also see that their eyes are opening. I'm not saying that they're constantly open, but they are opened <laughs> regularly, so to say. And they're becoming more and more real bunnies. And they're resting so cozy, enjoying each other's body heat. They also say when rabbits are very small, not as small as they are uh, here because they are a lot bigger now. They're already quite mature for uh, nestlings, but they need at least three to keep warm. And they have five here, as you can see, but they are, they are well pelted, so they also have a lot of body, uh, yeah, body isolation, so to say. And it helps. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very relaxing to waking up to these uh, little uh, rascals, I must say. Really nice also to handle them. You see very well the coloration of the more wild type, the Aguti type on top now. And the true grey is on the left. And there are Isabella colors uh, among it and one black one. Top left corner. Have a great day. Ciao. Hallo mevrouw, de vrouw van Hans is mijn blauwe benen en die heeft baby's gehad. Ik heb ze maar kort gezien, maar ik laat ze even laten zien aan de hand. Ik zal even een lichtje bij doen. Ja, ik had er veel meer, maar ze hebben niet allemaal gered, die allemaal genoeg. Deze lijkt uh, helemaal grijs te zijn, ook een mooi grijs buikje. En de rest, die hebben zoals de moeder meer, uh, die zijn wel grijs. Die hebben ook een Isabella, dus die kleurtjes erin, maar ook hele mooie konijntjes. Deze heeft het ook. Hier een klein beetje Isabella erin. Dit zijn helemaal zwarte wenen. Blauwe wenen kan ook zwarte wenen voortbrengen. En deze, ja, deze is een beetje een soort wild kleur. Maar is niet helemaal wild, toch grijs. En ook een heel mooi apart konijntje. We zijn nu vandaag 14 weken. Is nog steeds uh, jong natuurlijk. En de oogjes zijn nog niet altijd helemaal open. Ze kunnen de oogjes wel open doen. Ze zijn levendig. Ja, het is goed te bellen. Maar ja, goed, die heb ik normaal onder in de hok zitten, maar uh, nu even dus niet. Even voor de zekerheid binnengezet. Nu laat je de hokken zien. Dus wat ik je zei, Hans, ik heb ze onder een afdak staan. Ik heb hier nog een extra hok. Dus meer voor een dwergkonijntje, ja, dwergkonijntjes. Dat zal ik ze even liggen uit zetten. Dus uh, Wolfie is mijn mannetjes uh, dwergkonijn. Ik heb ook dwergkonijntjes. Dit is uh, Ramnijn. Dat is de vader van het nestje, dus het is half blauwe wenen. Half Californian, wat dit ras is. Die verkleuren ook in de winter, worden ze donkerder en in de zomer juist uh, lichter. Dus ze kunnen daar de temperatuur mee aanpassen. En hier heb ik nog twee relatief jonge. Dus dit is een uh, rode Nieuw-Zeelander. En dat is een uh, witte Nieuw-Zeelander. 
Ze zijn allebei vrouwtjes, ze zijn nog jong. Ze groeien nog, maar die zijn al aardig aan de maat. Een beetje dat formaatje van hem. En hieronder heb ik normaal Bella zitten. Ja goed, ik heb die bakken eruit getrokken en schoongemaakt. Maar het is nu dus leeg, omdat die beetjes in zitten. En ik heb hier nog uh, ja, dwergjes zitten. De dwergjes hebben eigenlijk allemaal een heel groot hok, moet ik zeggen. Die zitten daarin. Hier zit er ook eentje in. Dit is een, uh, dat noemen ze blauwwolten, net zo'n mannetje. De dwergs zijn ietsje schrikachtiger. Dat is een ander soort kooien, maar ik heb het ook gemaakt dat ze hier doorheen kunnen. Dat ze niet in de rotsen blijven zitten. Dat is bij jouw hok eigenlijk. Alleen met schoonmaken is iets langs. Iets moeilijker. Nee, tel maar. Nee, het hokje gaat een beetje stroef. Ik zal deze openmaken. Misschien Hé, hey, meid. Nou ja, ze wil nu even niet. Meestal is ze heel erg uh, bij de pink. Maar ik heb natuurlijk nu geen eten bij. Hé, hey, meid. Zo, dan heb je een beetje een idee. Dus ze staat hier gewoon zo. En daar staan die andere hokken naast. En ietsjes groter nog. Zoals je kan zien, maar ook goed, omdat het aluminium is, ben ik ook blij met die. Nou ja, goed, jouw zijn gewoon nou gebruiksvriendelijke. Dankjewel. Een beetje zoals hokken ook erboven, maar dat is meer een kleine hok. Ja, meer voor het werk, maar nee, vind ik zelf. Dus ik heb die hokken opengemaakt. Dat ze in plaats van twee hokken per verdieping eentje hebben. En daar geniet ik echt van. Dankjewel. Today is day 15. So they are over two weeks old now. They're looking into the world, opening their eyes. Very, very cute. I'm going to feed the other rabbits so you can enjoy a little bit of this coziness. So rabbit food pellets, but also other food, for example, uh, uh, hay, but also other nice greenery they really love, they like rose leaves, banana leaves. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, intermezzo with this five little rabbits. The little one is trying to drink. Nice, that's a good thing. This morning is a better little one. So very nice. It's becoming more and more lively every day. So rabbits, sixteen days old. From 
left to right you see here there is quite some uh, Isabella in there then the totally gray one a black one another one with a little bit less Isabella and then a wild color a Guti so please enjoy These are lay, laying with their mother, which is the blue Vienna, and the father is a California buck, and a Rudy just sitting here. I hope you like this uh, short uh, video, so cozy to see those little rascals. Huh? I'll also show you a little bit more uh, up close and personal. <laughs> Just stroking them. This is their mother. I'll fill up her food as well. Little chunky, little chunky. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the one with part Isabella. As you can see here in the different colorations. White to belly. All black little one. The smallest of the bunch. The all grey one. Also grey belly as you can see. And this Isabella one also has a white tummy. See Isabella colors there. They're exploring everything a little bit more. Hey Bella, yeah. Look how cute they are. Little chunky, little chunky. Hmm? This is uh, the one with part Isabella, as you can see here in the different colorations. White belly. All black little one, the smallest of the bunch. The all grey one, also grey belly as you can see. And this Isabella one also has a white tummy. See Isabella colors there. Exploring everything a little bit more. Hey, Bella. Yeah. 